Hey. Uh, yeah. You're a little one month old today. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. We're going to a good Zelda for me, and then my dad's gonna do uh, magic for me. Pretty exciting day, isn't it? So we are on our way to Los Angeles to do some sort of video project with Glozelle. I'm not totally sure what the details are, so I will give you those as I get them, as things become more official, but they asked for Parker to be in it, so Parker's gonna be in it, and he's super excited. And then they were like, oh, you're gonna be there, why don't you do some magic or juggling or something? I'm not quite sure what I'm doing yet. I brought some props, so we'll see what happens, but we're super excited because we're gonna go on a Daddy Parker road trip right now. <laughs> And we're gonna go have lots of fun. Only me and dad. Only Parker and dad. Fun. Fun times. Oh my goodness, the movers are here packing things up. They are so fast. They've only been here for an hour and this whole room is like done. And these guys are eating all the food so we don't have to pack it. I was like, here's the food guys, it's gotta go. Eat it up, eat it up, eat it up. And Jacob's been helping pack, like, he's amazing. He's so sweet. He did a lot of these boxes. How are the snacks? I'm sorry, sweetie. You're gonna love your new house though. I know it's hard saying goodbye to old things that we loved. So the move is still totally amazing and blowing my mind. Like I can't believe how quickly they do it all. But I am certainly learning that we did not prep properly. And I was thinking this like the past couple days, I was like, wait, they're moving everything. Like what do we need for the in-between for like the overnight before we actually move to the new house? Cause all they're doing right now is packing. The thing was that I didn't factor in shoes. So I was walking around helping them today. You were so stinking cute, Duncan. He is so stinking cute. He's so cute, hi bunny. Sorry, <laughs> quick baby break, I had to do it. So I did not factor in shoes. Jacob and I both were walking around the house today without our shoes on and <laughs> things were getting packed. And then I realized our shoes got packed. So they had to like fully find them in the truck. I felt so bad, but I was like, we don't have any shoes. Like we need our shoes. And they're like, yeah, should have thought of that. They were very nice, <laughs> but they were like, yeah, let me go get the shoe boxes for you. So they went and got the boxes of shoes for us that I don't know what else is gonna like occur during the day that I'm like, oh, sorry guys. I told them to leave the like diaper changing station. Duncan's in like a giant blanket right now because it was what was out and they packed all the baby blankets. <laughs> oh. Baby I don't know. I think up. worst case scenario, worst case scenario. We may be doing like a target run for a, a couple small baby items, but I don't even think we'll need that. Like I think I did a pretty good job putting things aside, but I'm definitely learning as I'm going like, oh, oh oops. I told them to leave out the toothbrushes. I was thinking of that. That's all I thought of was my teeth. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> and I'll try to give you guys advice in case you're getting ready to move. Put your shoes aside so you have them for the day. That's my first piece of advice. I just had the kids pack clothing for tomorrow. So that's their like clothing and underwear box. So in the morning they can wake up and make sure we put on clean clothes and underwear. I'm trying to think of what else we're gonna need. Any ideas, Bailey? If we can go to the store. Yeah, if, if like something is really, really gone that we need, we can, there's always stores. I'm hoping we can avoid stores, but I'm just saying like, we can have that as peace of mind. Of course we can't go into stores if we don't have shoes on. <laughs> so at least I, at least I remember that at some point today instead of having the movers leave and me being like, I don't have shoes. Hey. Uh, yeah. You're a little one month old today. You're a little one month old. What do you think of that? Oh, did you not realize that you've been aging? You're one month old, buddy. It's good, it's a good thing. One month is a great time in your life. We're gonna do a one month photo session today and I got you all kinds of really funny costumes. I'm very excited to put you in. Very excited to put you in silly outfits, mister. You wanna hit the camera like Parker does? Okay. Let's put you in some silly clothes. Look at the little cutie that's right here. I love you. I love him so much. So adorable. Oh, 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 o
Uh, Bailey is amazing at putting Duck into sleep. He's almost asleep. He's very tired. You're incredible, Bailey. You only had him for like two minutes. <laughs> and he was wide awake when I gave him to you. And he was screaming. <laughs> I know. He was crying and wide awake. And now you've got him calm and almost asleep. You are really, really good with babies, my sweet girl. Thank you. If you ever need me in the middle of the night, you know who to ask. <laughs> I love you. It's really long. You can't see, but let's see. It's very In the long. back, it's like... It's probably <laughs> like needs longer a haircut. than my hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that long. No, no, longer than my hair when I was his age. Oh, it could be. It was pretty long. Do you think his hair will be as long as my hair when he grows up? <laughs> I think he's going to be look a lot like me when he grows up. Yeah, I bet he will. His eyes will definitely be the same color as my eyes. That's really cool because there's no other family members in my family that have dark brown eyes. Everyone else has light brown eyes. That's beautiful. I think we're made to be like twins. Twins? We're twins, yeah, we're twins, except we're identical twins, and we have the same, the same, here, the same happiness for each other, and how much we love each other so much, even when he was so tiny. We're twins, we're pretty much the same thing. You always get to tell him you saw him get born. I bet he'll be very proud of that. <laughs> Who have you been hanging out with? Um. <gasps> Glozo. Glozo, yes! Thank you, Parker, so very much. And we're looking forward to um, working together. So that's why he has on the green lipstick. He's a little Glozo. Little glow bug. Ah! I love it. Did you have fun today? Mm -hmm. You did a great job. Thanks. Oh. I love this child so much. I do. We finished working on the project and now we're gonna get some food for Jessica at one of our favorite places to go eat. How did it go today? Oh, good. Did you have fun? Yes. You did have fun? Uh-huh. Oh, good. All right, cool. Well, let's go get some food. Are you hungry? Uh, yeah. Okay, let's get it. We're back in the car because we failed big time. We went in there and the line was literally out the door and around the corner and we just don't have time to do that today because today is packing day and we're not even there right now. We need to get home and help mommy pack, don't you think? Uh-huh. Yeah. Ain't nobody got time for that. That's right, ain't nobody got time for that. Parker and I got home, we had like two seconds to pick up this guy and now he's got his, it's kind of like a Boy Scouts thing at church so we gotta take him to that. And Parker's still with me. We didn't have time to change out his car seat. So Parker's with us and since we didn't have time to change out his car seat, he's with me. Jessica and Duncan and Bailey are doing some photo shoot. I think they have a camera that they're going to be, I mean they obviously have a camera they're doing the photo shoot with, but I think they have a camera that they're vlogging with also. So hopefully we'll get some cool footage. Duncan is one month old today and obviously I had to set up a one month photo session for him so I could do his cutie little pictures while I still have him like teeny tiny. And that's also on the day we're packing to move because that's good planning on my part. <laughs> and so here he is. I just unbuckled him. To, I'm about to get him dressed. We got him some Ballinger Christmas outfits and a little lion and a cowboy and fishing and a caterpillar. And here's Katie. Hi Katie. Hey. And we'll probably be able to do like one or two of those maybe with him not screaming at us, but we're gonna try it all. I just am so excited he can still fit in these. I hope, I hope he can still fit in these outfits. They're so cute. That's why we're doing this now, just while he's still tiny and can fit in these tiny ridiculous things, we gotta do it. Is he okay with the onesie on or do you think I need to get off his outfit? Okay, Mister. <laughs> Yeah, you are such a good baby. Yeah. Yeah. Good 
Coldplay. We're gonna put this under here. Coldplay. No worries, we're just gonna put this caterpillar head on you. <laughs> Don't even worry about it, baby. Don't worry about a thing. It looks great. You're gonna love this when you're in high school. <laughs> Cozy little caterpillar. I got him to sleep. He was crying really hard and I got him to sleep. You're amazing. Caterpillar in the forest. Oh. Going, where's my Bailey? <laughs> where's my Bailey? Little fisherman. Bailey, what do you think? He's so cute. I love him so much. Little fisherman, mister? <laughs> You're doing a good job, buddy. Good job. Duncan, you look like a little doll. You don't even look real. Hi, let's talk about what we learned today. We learned the number one rule of packing, which is make sure you have your shoes. We learned that Clozelle and Parker are best friends. And finally, we learned a planning pro tip, which is that you should schedule a ridiculous baby shoot the day you're moving. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. <laughs> no, 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 no.